Electric Talk Radio. You're in to all things music. Welcome to Sharpen the Axe. Explore the bleeding edge of guitar and bass gear. Discover a sound uniquely your own and cut through the noise. With your hosts, Eric Lucero and Paul Berzetsky. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Eric Lucero. And I'm Paul Berzetsky. Of Sharpen the Axe on Entertalk Radio, powered by Pitbull Audio. And well, welcome to a new show. We got a, a nice yeah. new setup. It we've been doing a little bit. Here. We've been doing a little bit of remodeling here in the past week or so. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. We got some uh, a nice classic album surrounding us back here. Yeah, uh, we're sweet almost done. We got a cu- couple more little finishing touches to add that we didn't get, uh, didn't have time to do. But this, I think, this looks a lot cooler than the <laughs> stuff yeah, we th- threw then. together before. And yeah, it's uh, con- the continuing evolution of Sharpen the Axe. This is like, what, uh, s- uh, set revision number four? Something like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> it's funny. I've, rooms, I've been going through like, our video playlists, like, all the way back to the first one with, like, yeah. the janky cameras and just, <laughs> yeah, it's been steadily evolving, hopefully for the better. Yes, absolutely. And our, our first episode, technically, I guess, was the the, the Billy Sheehan Bill one, Sheehan right? And then the next one was in the studio. Yep, yep. But uh, it continues to evolve, as does uh, the gear in front of us. And uh, shall we roll into it? Yeah. Sure, sure. So we got this awesome uh, uh, Ultimate Support Genesis Series pedal board here, the GSP 500 Black. Mm-hmm. Uh, so w- what pedal board do you have, do you use? I actually don't know what it is. I inherited it from uh, from Tino uh my partner over here at Entertalk that was a bass rig. I forgot who makes it. It's it's a little bit. It's a flat one you have. Yeah, right, it's a I it's a flat yeah. one. So that's a little bit of it because I have like a couple of rows and I have to be careful not to step on it. So it's it's not quite as cool as an angled one, <laughs> but it, it it's good because it's got like the underneath compartment where you could get all the cables kind of organized and out of the way. So I do like about that. But the fact that it's not angled is sometimes could be problematic. Well, hopefully we'll see what uh, the Genesis series can do here to convince you of it. So. Uh, you never had any others aside from that one, have I you? did. I yeah. had some, uh, like, a homemade, like, wooden thing. Uh, and just, like, one of those, like, little plasticky basic ones before that. Yeah, and I've, I've gone through a couple before of uh, uh, Pedal Train. I, I've uh, always wanted to jump to, to Temple Audio, but it's uh, uh, quite a bit to put together. And there's all kinds of companies out there, but uh, Ultimate Support has taken a lot of uh, the features that have been missing from others or only available in some and kind of put it all together here. Mm-hmm. Uh, right off the top, it is the look that we've all come to, to recognize now that uh, bigger, uh, not bigger companies, but more recognized companies in the pedal board game have brought forth with the angled uh, slat design here. Uh, but we have, uh, it's got plenty of space as you can see on it. I mean, we only have mm-hmm. five pedals up here and not even putting the expression pedal up there yet, which you could put anywhere you want it. It's loose for today to pass yeah. it back and forth, but... It also, uh, what's cool about this one, it comes with some brackets for putting the power supply underneath. Yep. Uh, we, we don't have a, a, a floating camera to kind of show underneath, but it also has these hooks for uh, cable management there and has another cool feature right up top here where you can uh, put straight up or angled a mic stand to save yeah. some space, which I thought was pretty cool. And is that something that's unique to Ultimate Support? I have not seen that with anyone else I, as far as the, even the custom... Uh, you know, built for you companies. I haven't seen that feature yet. Very cool. It's it's one of those things that's kind of like, duh. It seems like a no brainer. Yeah, like, why right. I think of it. <laughs> and you can move this uh, any anywhere yeah, that's convenient. Yep, uh, yep. Could be slide side to side. Because two different. Because it just clamps mm-hmm. kind of on top and on bottom, and you screw it together. And I believe the uh, the cable management things you can slide around as well. Correct. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They they slide. So all you guitar players out there that like to pretend that you know how to sing. <laughs> this is the way to go. Yeah, instead of having to to have your foot off at a weird angle to the side to hit what's coming next, it's just right underneath you, which is uh, really convenient. And uh, of course, it it comes with Velcro to put up top, but uh, we we decided to uh, just leave it bare for today because we're not going to put Velcro on the pedals that we do have above here. 
Uh, but we also have a contest, I believe, coming up with That's Ultimate right. Support as well. That's right. It's uh, going on right now. Uh, Ultimate Support, first of all, uh, they were kind enough to give us uh, this guy. Yes, thank you very so much, thank Ultimate you very Support. Much. Uh, and they're giving away uh, 10 more of these uh, in a contest that Pitbull Audio is running. Yes. Uh, we're going to be giving away two of them a week, uh, every week starting... Is it November Next, not the, not tomorrow, the, fo the following Friday, I believe. The, awesome. uh, the 3rd, November 3rd, I think, if I'm not getting my calendar. Yeah. So, <laughs> so on Friday, to, uh, two winners Friday, and then two winners every Friday uh, up until December 1st, I believe. Nice. Uh, and you can enter the contest by going to entertalkradio.com, and right on our front page, there's a poster for it. Click on the link, enter the contest. There are several ways to enter it. Uh, the more ways you enter, the more chances you have to win. So you could sign up, you could share on Facebook, you could uh, retweet, I think, uh, uh, a tweet. Uh, so you can improve your chances of winning by doing it multiple ways. And we're giving away 10, so you do have many chances to win them. Yep. I mean, this is a pretty cool. I mean, they're giving away a really good sized pedal board. I mean, you could probably fit somewhere between around 10 or 12, depending on the size, mm -hmm. uh, comfortably, and have a, a solid, uh, nice uh, Pedal Power Plus, a Voodoo Labs, or a Walrus Auto, whatever your choice of, uh, of power supply on the bottom. And again, the, the organization features on it make it really, really cool. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Uh, and they go for 199 Yes, I yeah, believe. 199 Okay, so we, before we dive into just for... Uh, just to humor me for a second, can we just hear like one of these for like a second? <laughs> e just th th we'll be going into this for a I'll, little bit later. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let you choose. Which one would you want to hear? Uh, this one. What is this? The that is the Bell Epic Deluxe from Catalan Bread. So Catalan Bread has had a... Uh, actually, that's the oscillation. What? This, I, I, I this one right here. I, uh, I, I, I wouldn't <laughs> even explain what these are. I just want to hear a couple oh, of... Oh, go for it. Yeah. Jump back here. Sweet. Nice little verb. <coughs> and this guy over here. That's good. Just a little, uh, <laughs> just a a little teaser, really. a little preview for yeah. what's going to be coming on later. But before we do that, uh, we have with us on the line Paul Nunn from Ultimate Support. Uh, how's it there going? There he is. There he is. How's it going, Paul? Hi, guys. Good, good. How are y'all? Great, great. Uh, so we have this awesome Genesis pedal board uh, right here in front of us. Is this uh, Ultimate Support's first attempt at a pedal board? It is indeed. Uh, yeah, we... Uh... We wanted to do it, so we started in the middle uh, with the medium size, and it's it's born of all my frustrations and uh, <laughs> and, and some great ideas of Mike Beelitz's that we just sort of smashed together with the help of our engineer. And uh, I've been testing it. I love mine. Mine has way too many pedals on it. I know that There's I can no say confidently thing. you can fit at least 10 if those 10 include, like, Strymons and three-way switches. I'm looking down and counting with my eyes as I turn to the right there. Right on. So what were some of those frustrations that you were running into? Well, you know, back when I used to do uh, tech work, uh, I, there was that continuous frustration of the vocalist wants a tripod mic stand or a round bass mic stand, and we also need to work in the pedals so you couldn't have certain people on pedal boards, things like that, and then just my own. I thought it was really annoying to have to order a kit to put and I hated right. taking a drill to pedal boards to put a power supply in. I just yeah. thought that was nuts. It was like these things are boxes. They're all boxes. If there was one that was like some kind of crazy Judy Jetson car <laughs> where you're like, oh I don't know how we're gonna hold that. We're gonna need rubber clamps made of plutonium. If it had been something <laughs> like that, I think I would have been like, okay, that's why that doesn't exist. But then I just sort of started talking about it like an idiot and our engineer was like, what about clamps? 
it's like, okay, yeah, what about clamps? Let's clamp. Let's clamp things. And so now we're clamping. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, it made for one very feature-packed pedal board. I mean, it's, uh, it really is one of those things where the small touches make a difference, such as these uh, uh, little hooks to organize cables, because I, I can't count how many times I've had to turn my, my, my board at home upside down, get gaffer's tape and zip ties, and, and just make a mess underneath to make it function. I've done bizarre things over the years with Velcro loops and scotch tape and, regrettably <laughs> enough, electrical tape at times, and it was just like, why? And those are the same clips, if you're familiar with our Apex stands, so anybody who wants an idea, like, how durable are these things? They're very, I mean, I feel like you feel them, when you touch them, you're like, oh my god, these are some serious clamps, so uh, yeah, yeah. everything yeah. everything, uh, everything in that thing feels durable. And uh, have you have you guys uh, given any of these to artists who have uh, loaded them up and taken up taken them up on the road yet? We have got a bunch going out. Um, we I know there's some that are traveling with uh, Josh Todd in the conflict right now, so they are getting uh, some serious rock from Stevie over there. And uh, we've got we've got uh, a couple of other bands. More people will be surfacing with pictures in the future, and I'm keeping some of it a secret because it's exciting. And then we all, we try to get them out there with as many people as we can, but uh, we're we're really just kicking off the the big promotion with all of this. I just saw someone crawl through the frame. I shouldn't call attention to it, but I have. <laughs> we're, we're dodging machine gun fire down here. Oh, it's all good. It's dangerous times we live in. Yeah, so. True, true. So is this the only size available, or are there other uh, dimensions available for the Genesis series? I, I said last week, and I'll have to say again, I don't want to give too much away, but there's a lot of announcements coming up on that front, so... Gotcha. Uh, I, th I think people, if there's somebody out there that's going, well, man, that's not the one for me, uh, they'll be happy soon. <laughs> Was that Hank, <laughs> right, right Hank on. Hill? That sounded like yeah. Hank Hill. That's not the one for Hank Hill. <laughs> he thinks Bobby, it's asinine. Man, Bobby, I need a bigger pedal board. This is crazy. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> Where can I hook up my tanks for propane? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. That's what you need. That's what, you need some propane clips. That's a new feature that's it's, coming up here. Oh, well, we just gave it away. There goes the NAM announcement. Yeah. That was uh, damn it. Shoot. <laughs> so, uh, now what are we going to talk about? I'll tell about? you what. So are, are, there any, uh, <laughs> <laughs> are there any features that we've been missing, ones that are asinine or not, that, uh, that might be able to convince uh, potential customers that, that you're excited about in the Genesis? I don't think you guys mentioned I was actually watching. I was like, man, they really know the product. I don't have a whole lot to say here except for I can roll out some square inches. Um, and the the one thing that you guys did mention though was the bag itself. Oh yeah, yeah, here, it right over here. And that I think is you know, it's a soft case. It's not an ATA solution, but it's from our Hybrid 2.0 series. And those bags are thick. They're water resistant. It's uh, it's got a great finish. The big pocket holds it together. Light to move. And I think that's kind of the, the secret bonus that goes in there when you think about what it costs to get a pedal board like this. From the more boutique companies and from the standard fare companies, uh, I think one ninety nine, you're like, oh, my gosh, and thank you. you that's some beautiful Vanna White stuff that's happening. <laughs> oh, I, I, I just really wish I just for once had some, some lights some... that tap to touch that turn into numbers or letters. And... We could probably do that <laughs> up here. <I> don't... <laughs> but uh, that, I mean, that... This is a really nice padded case. I have a pedal board similar to this from another big company that came with a case that barely lasted. Mm -hmm. uh, I think my dog's got a hold of it the first night yeah. and tore holes in it. This would, this would. Is that dog proof? Yeah, that's a, it's a large <laughs> dog proof, but it is a very it sturdy reject, case. It rejects cat hair. Uh, I have that's cat actually hair problems. Perfect. That's actually good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they have done, they've tried their best, but mine is spotless to this day. So, right on. I'm glad to hear it. It's. I mean, it's really a, such a cool product. It's, I actually look forward to what you guys are going to do with it in the future. I, I uh, hate to try to ask questions that give anything else away, like attachments or such. And it's, you know, you can ask. I just don't know what, I don't even know what I should say half the time with this. I'm like, well, should I say, no, I won't talk about it. I'll just say things about variety and features and great prices. And then I'll do a thumbs up and <laughs> you guys will buy my car, maybe even, so. Oh, you guys, great. Yeah. Selling a car yeah. for sure. Does it have a <laughs> microphone stand? Yeah. Does it yeah, come with its, its own every, bag? It's got attachments for every musician. They can just the basses can ride right there where the hood ornament goes. It's a good time. Perfect. Oh, Florentino's gonna like that one riding yeah. on the hood ornament. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a very cool product. A, a 
thank you very much for joining. Is there anything else that you guys they want to point out, or uh, should we just wait uh, for the NAM announcements? I, you know, I'll hold on the secrets. The other thing is just I, I feel like it's one of those things where people need to get their hands on it. They might look at it on the internet and see slats, but when you touch it, you know, it's, yeah, absolutely, you, you get where the you get what it is. You get why it's different. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, the construction is just so solid and just feels feels really, really good. And actually, I did have an, uh, a related question for Ultimate Support. I mean, the, people know him for making uh, uh, all kinds of stands, be it for lighting, for speakers. But, I mean, you guys have this, but you do have other guitar products. Is there anything you'd like to point out that our uh, listeners should check out? Um, this guy right behind me, actually, that's holding my Strat, is a GS1000. It's got a self-closing gate. Mm-hmm. and nice. padded legs that uh, the fabric we use there is designed to not cause some of the nasty foam reaction with different nitrocellulose finishes and stuff like that and I always tell people if you can't afford a guitar tech you should just go buy a GS1000 Pro and uh, we have a full line of guitar stands we got the Amp 150 which I can't show but it uh, it's a tilting back amp stand that also includes a mount for uh, our Ultiboom Pro which mm. I can show because I keep our gear all over the place. <laughs> and uh, the Ultiboom Pro is uh, it's a one-touch, one-position kind of mic stand that uses this Z-knob to give people a really wide range of things they can do in one move. They can lock the thing in, and it's a really great boom stand for micing your amps. And I always make jokes that are possibly in poor taste that, you know, if you're if you're ever the kind of person who just gets drunk and decides to do a lot of guitar part tracking, which of course is not me, I've but been if there. you were that person, uh, we make the stands that are perfect for setting that up. Otherwise, you're going to drop mics. I've done it. I've done all of these things. I now work somewhere where I get really great swag from the job. Nice, nice. Uh, I like the idea of engineering by mistake, potentially drunken mistake for, for prevention. That's right up my alley. You know, it worked for Zeppelin, so let's do this. <laughs> Awesome. That is, that's very cool. Uh, I'm definitely be stoked to check out more of the Ultimate Support products and cannot wait to, to see what you guys put out at NAMM and announce soon. Yeah, and I forgot to say this desk that's behind me is also that's, one of our products. That's so. right. That's oh, right. right. You, you, you guys got a, a bunch of different, different size uh, studio desks that, uh, that you're carrying. Yes, and this is totally the one that's that's my favorite. Oh yeah, and we've got our monitor stands back there holding yeah. up the monitors. Uh, so I, yeah, I my room is apparently a showroom. It's and, it's uh, pretty yeah. swanky. <laughs> I, I got to point out, my favorite part of the room is the uh, Lost in Translation and Labyrinth posters. Two of my favorite movies. That's. I, I, my, that's mainly what my eyes are on while, while I've been watching this. That's a good eye. And I actually, I looked earlier when we were setting up the shot, I was like, oh, that's a Bill Murray crotch shot, isn't it? It well, is. I hope, I hope people know what that is. So, so. Somewhere he's choosing that with a, a glass of scotch in the air. I think he'd be happy with it. <laughs> that's how he wanted that to be. He wanted the original <laughs> cover to be just that, that much. <laughs> <laughs> with the Suntory Time logo right over it. That would have been perfect. <laughs> relaxing times exactly well thank you very, very cool. much you yeah. want to uh, throw out some uh, URLs social media where can people check you guys out uh, facebook.com slash ultimate dot support Instagram uh, is just ultimate support and then on Twitter we're ultimate stands and you can learn everything there is to know and find places to buy all of our products at ultimate support dot com very cool. cool yeah very cool right on thank you very much for joining us Paul Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. And uh, we're very grateful and excited about the contest and the giveaways. Yes, absolutely. Uh, very, very yep. cool. Yeah, thank it's, you very much. Absolutely. We'll be pushing that and keeping up with it as it goes. And uh, you guys have a great uh, whatever contest. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. Paul. Thanks for talking Thanks. to us. Thank you, guys. Yeah, this is definitely a very, very convincing product. And, of course, you guys can always go to pitbullaudio.com. Or uh, if you're in the San Diego area, come down to our National City store. We'll check them out. But uh, it's sturdy as hell. And, I mean, you take this on, you take this out on show and on the road, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, who knows? You might have found your new pedal board. Now you get angles. Aren't well, you excited? Now, wait, do you do any vocals? Mm, very, very rarely. <laughs> Probably not enough to, to justify putting a microphone stand on my on my board. <laughs> Wait, how many how many pedals are on your board nowadays? I know you've kind of flipped a few uh, around, maybe. Probably about 
10 or so, yeah, 10, 10 or 12. Nice. And it, you haven't had any uh, space problems on your others or? I've just kind of left left it alone, yeah. If if I need I, if I need to add something, I'll usually subtract something because I, I have a couple of pedals on there that are just kind of sitting there but not getting a whole ton of use. So it's, it's not usually not a big deal to sacrifice some kind of a modulation thing that's... That that makes that doesn't make the cut, and you just don't need for your set. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. Now, uh, wow. So you you never looked at pedal train, or never looked at uh, or, or I think I you a, never never I went a, across and tried to to shop across and see what features were missing uh, or needed in your world. Nope, not not really. So the the one I have now actually does kind of have a like a bracketed case that you could almost <laughs> fit a <laughs> fit a power supply. I had to kind of like <laughs> knock in. one in there with a mallet. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the the, ca- the cable ties. Well, this is definitely a v- very very cool cool design. I um, would probably like to swap them out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when you guys open this up, I mean, it, it came with the uh, did not come with the mic stand, of course. But you can always just get that from Pitbull Audio. We sell all their uh, speaker stands, mic stands, accessories too. Actually, have you ever bought anything else from like your? Do you have an amp case at all or anything that you? Uh, or I'm stand, I, I just say, have no. like a, so- a soft cover. I don't have a hard case. Gotcha. I, right. I don't really do any kind of road gigging. It's usually just local things here. I just toss it in the back of a car. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. I don't have to get super heavy with it. I do have a, a heavy road case for my for my pedal board, which actually makes the whole thing super super heavy. It's a <laughs> pain in the butt to carry around. So I'm actually might uh, might steal that soft case. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Well, I mean, hell, if it works and you need, to, I mean. You do need to protect your pedals. Actually, that's one of the big benefits of having a nice pedal board like this is everything is uh, Velcroed on, attached, power supply is set. You just pull it out of the of the case, lay it down, and uh, hook up your IEC to the power supply, and you're good to go yep. after a couple more cables. Uh, and I still see people uh, gigging with just a... a Small smattering of pedals just on the floor with uh, yeah. cables and just... I see that sometimes. You don't have to do that anymore. And... and it, it's kind of kind of a bit, bit of a dick move to do, but I see that and I start judging like, oh, this this is like some you know some amateur, and a lot of times they'll start playing and they're like amazing. I was like, dude, you're <laughs> you're awesome. Like, get your pedals together. Just make it easy for yourself. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, it's uh, there's some guys who just don't think about, it, and those are those guys who just I ah, I sound the way I sound. It's yeah. all in the fingers for me. Which, if you're that way, cool. I <laughs> it, it is cool, but I mean, just. Having to sit there and like you know plug a bunch of pedals together every gig is well, yeah. can, can, can go back to that. Well, it also depends on how to use it for the amount that I use. Like that would eat up a little bit too much time of in yeah. between sets. So. I mean, even if it's anything over like three pedals, that's already too much work crawling around them. And you know th- th- those bar yeah. those bar stages are usually not the most clean things you want to be <laughs> yeah. down on all fours touching with your hands so we're making that a rule now if, if you have three pedals or under you're fine with just uh i would say just, so. yeah yeah I, I could agree to that actually now <laughs> throw yeah. some nine volts in there pray for a good <laughs> good time <laughs> <laughs> well speaking of pedals i think we should probably dive into at least one or two of these sure now let's just start at the front of the chain so we got uh we got uh, here from Electrical Audio Experiments, the Dude Incredible. This, uh, I hate to say we actually don't sell Pitbull Audio, but I got this on loaner until I get my own, and I thought it was just too cool to not bring in. Uh, John Snyder is the, the man behind Electrical Audio Experiments out of Massachusetts, and what he did in here, it is uh, basically Steve Albini's shellac sound uh, in a box. It is the uh, kind of the preamp section of, a, of an Intersound IVP, which was a, a preamp from the 70s, 80s, I think, that had a very uh, direct, sharp sort of sound. Uh, uh, Steve Albini uses one. Actually, Jerry Garcia used one. Really? Yeah, for a bit. Uh, it has a preamp section of that uh, and then a fuzz running into it, but it's just not really any fuzz. It is uh, a copy sort of of the Interfax harmonic percolator, which was in... I forgot if it's even or odd order harmonic fuzz. Just a really unique sound, but uh, this is our dry right here. And then we'll just turn on. Here, we'll do everything at noon. Uh, 
shot with Chew, and I'll see what the EQ can do. So it's definitely got a pretty fair amount of gain on tap, and it is articulate, which is why I've been uh, out for this thing for a while. It just it just cuts. <laughs> It just is sharp as hell, but mm -hmm. we'll add in this, which you can actually turn on independently, the uh, the percolator side, which is just that strip right there. These four knobs are for the IVP side. So... Together, and I want the treble way up and gain up where this thing just shines. Oh, yeah. Let's see what you think of that with the fuzz on. Pretty, pretty neat sounding. I love this thing. I am definitely getting one as soon as another uh, batch of these are ready. Uh, ElectronicAudioExperiments.com. You can check it out there. These go for $235. Uh, just really rad. Awesome, awesome work, John Snyder. This thing is cool, and I cannot wait to get mine. We're about to go to break. We got uh, four more pedals when we come back. This is Paul Berzetsky. And Eric Lucero. And this is Sharp in the Axe. And on we'll Internet be, Talk Radio. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Play around with some more of these pretty, pretty pedals. Stay tuned. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. From leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, and American Audio, to sound your best, you need the best. Pitbull Audio can deliver in rehearsal, on stage, and into the big time. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can help make it happen. We are Pitbull Audio. We want you to play it loud. PitbullAudio.com. This is Jackie Bertoni from Jackie's Groove. Come join me weekly on my journey through the music business as I take you behind the velvet rope, interviewing industry notables such as Al Dimiola, Michael McDonald, and Al Giroux, to name but a few. Listen to their stories on being in the studios recording number one hits and onto the stages throughout the globe. Allow me to be your music historian. You can hear me live every Monday at 2 p.m. and every Wednesday at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time or 24-7 on Jackie'sGroove.com. Ready to get your groove on? Hi, I'm Tim Dolbear, the host of Sound Experience on Intertalk Radio. Each week, I talk with top professional audio engineers, producers, musicians, and the manufacturers that make the tools that we use in the studio each and every day. From capturing the perfect take to mastering your final release and the tools and how the pros use them, we are going to dive deep into their process and learn from their experience. I look forward to you joining us each week on Sound Experience with me, your host, Tim Dolbear. You know what's all around you every waking moment of your life? Marketing. You're choking on it. I'm Scott Robertson, and when it comes to strategic PR, branding, and marketing, I've seen it all. And actually, I'm still seeing it because bad marketing never sleeps. Join me each week on May the Best Brand Win right here on Intertalk Radio and learn how to make the marketing for your brand unforgettable.
Welcome to Sharpen the Axe. Explore the bleeding edge of guitar and bass gear. Discover a sound uniquely your own and cut through the noise. With your hosts, Eric Lucero and Paul Berzetsky. Awesome, and here we are back with the second half and all these pretty, pretty pedals. And if you're just joining us where they're sitting on top of an ultimate support Genesis series... Uh, pedal board, uh, which we are going to be giving away 10 of in the next month or so. It's Through December 31st? December 1st. December 1st, okay. Yeah, so pretty much all through all through November, through the whatever, uh, end of October and November, we're giving away uh, two every week. Uh, if you go to entertalkradio.com, uh, you should find a, a contest right on their homepage to follow the link. There's a bunch of ways to enter. Uh, this it's uh, one ninety nine ninety nine yeah. for one of these, and it's it's feature packed. Feature it is packed. convenient. It has all kinds of goodies with it, like the mic stand, brackets for your power supply, uh, cable organization uh, hooks in the back and underneath. It's it's really cool, and it's perfect for about ten or so pedals, mm-hmm. depending on the size. Uh, speaking of the pedals, we got a little bunch on top here. Uh, so we'll go through the chain with a quick explanation. Uh, we have the Electronic Audio Experiments Dude Incredible, which is a, uh, a gain stage and a fuzz. Actually, the fuzz going into the gain stage. Dude Incredible. Exactly, <laughs> exactly right. Uh, named after a shellac album, Steve Albini's band. Steve Albini produced uh, 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 Nirvana's In Utero, a thousand and one other albums he's mm-hmm. produced and recorded. Amazing guitar tone. Uh, next in line is the Earthquaker Devices Rainbow Machine, which I'm sure a lot of our listeners have seen before. It is a odd pitch shifting device, <laughs> to say the least. That's going into the Alexander FX uh, Neo Series F13 and Sci-Fi Flanger. Uh, this thing is this thing is possibly might be more feature packed than the Ultimate Support <laughs> uh, the pedal board it sits on. It's, this thing's crazy. Uh, then is the Catalan Bread Bell Epic Deluxe. A echo machine with uh, a few six echo modes, yeah, and the Keeley Viboverb uh, reverb with modulation. And uh, for the expression needs, right here, the Mission Engineering EP1 expression pedal. This Viboverb really matches your uh, aluminum. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's it, it does go with it pretty well. I do have to say, it's it matches nicely. I'm trying to do anything shiny and chromey. You're though, like a so. crow. I, yeah. Pr- <laughs> That's not unfair, I hate to say, yeah. Shiny enough, I'll tilt my head towards it and hop here. Uh, so we did the the, intercent, or the Dude Incredible after, or before, the uh, last break, which is... a just very cool sounding uh, gain and fuzz. Now, you were stoked about this when we were trying to plan out the show, The Rainbow Machine. Mm. So have you messed with one at all before today when I brought it? Nope, I just uh, saw a video online of someone using it with two expression pedals. Yes, yeah, which uh, we'll explain as we go through the features. It is a, it, it, it's like a pitch, a pitch shifter, and it does all kinds of weird echoey pixie trail stuff. Uh, the pitch controls where it goes up or down to, from a fourth below to a major third up. Uh, you bring in the first voice in primary, this is like a blend control, there's a second harmony you bring in with a secondary there. Uh, the magic and tracking buttons work with the magic switch here, which they don't really explain what it's they just magic. do. Yeah, it's just magic it's just, with a, with a tracking control. It's unicorn tears. Yeah, pretty much in the box of this and elf blood, I'm, I'm elf assuming. Blood. Elf blood, yes. you got to have that. Uh, <laughs> and a tone control, but let's, uh, let's bring it in, so... Let's hear your dry. That's dry. And I'm going to bring in the voice with it. There's that elf blood. There's a second voice. Whoa. 
So it's a very trippy, <laughs> trippy sounding effect. It、uh, definitely for the experimentalists and out there. There we go. You can kind of get it near the oh, well, to a coursey sort of thing. It's had some gain. Back to clean and add in the magic. You can basically sound like Frank Zappa without knowing how to do much of anything. Sorry, I was lost in the trails. I didn't hear a single word you said. <laughs> But yeah, it's、uh, it, it it is a difficult thing. Not di、uh, not difficult, but it's a weird thing to try to find a place for, like a spot in a song. But it is just there for fun in, in the way I've always approached it. But it is cool in that respect. I'm using the uh, the uh, dude incredible to push it a little bit volume wise. So, which the expression pedal is mo is modulating what? It's controlling the pitch. The pitch. So if I have that at the max, the toe down should be the max. There you go. It's not meant for anything normal. What can you say? But I love this thing to death. The fuzz on in on that. Yeah, you want to sound weird? Get a rainbow machine. It's pr pretty pretty easy.、Uh, so、does this sound anything like you would have expected it to? It's called a rainbow machine. I would have expected something like that, but、uh, <laughs> along those lines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, it is, yeah. It's just a very cool thing. I think it sounds better with a, with、uh, other things following it. Like if you just jump ahead to the delay, echo. Yeah. For sure. Oh yeah.、That's、so、cool. it's it. You kind of have to use some techniques, something with it to make it a little more like. Make it synth and patty like like I did with、mm -hmm. uh, with a volume swell and hitting it at the right spot. But we could go on endlessly with, <laughs> and we will. <laughs> we really could. Paul could fill the rest of the show just messing with the with the <laughs> rainbow machine. Well, we got to jump to the other goodies we got here with us. Uh, next up is the Alexander Effects、uh, F13N Sci-Fi Flanger. This is、uh, along with the Syntax Error, which I'll bring in another time. It's part of their Neo series, which have、uh, so many features in them that I I still had to bring the manual out to figure them all out. But it's just a cool sounding flanger with four modes. But you could also with the jack there、uh, put it in a remote switch, like a favorite switch or a preset switch. An expression pedal, or take it out to MIDI control with this.、Mm -hmm. So let's go to the first mode of just standard sort of flanger. General controls. It's just a rate, depth, mix, and regeneration. But you see underneath that there are other alternate controls. So one of the sort of hidden, not so hidden features 
is that you hold down the middle button, which also scrolls through the modes. So say if I want to put up the output level, I hold down that button, top changes color, and then I adjust the output level. And once it's back to that, and it's just the mix control again. So let's jump to the next mode, which is the step. There we go. Oh. oh, it's the volume. There we are, all right. Uh, Having a little technical difficulty. Maybe my switch is getting funky. Uh-oh. Time to call, time to call uh, Sean. What'd you do there? I went to the Dyna, which is the dynamic sort of mode. So it has uh, the pick attack in it. So and I have to go back to see what the alternate fe feature here. Oh, wow. So the, the harder I attack, it changes the... Yep. We go to control the sweep of it. Go ahead. Let's, uh, let's, let's go to the next one, the echo, this flanger with echo. Wow. basically like Floyd in a box. Right, a little bit. Yeah, I can have that sort of flangery sound. I mean, they have echoey sound with flanger. So what are your thoughts so far on the versatility of this, this, this F13N? Thing is, this is awesome. This is epic. So are you much of a flanger guy in general? Like, I really have never used them too much except for songs that called for them. Right, they're... I, I've had a couple that it's one of those things that's very cool to mess around with, but in a, in a live setting, not always. Like they kind of yeah. don't necessarily translate in a live in a live band in a performance. Uh, but this, you know, it's it's hard to hard to know until you play it with drums and bass and everything. But everything sounds like musical. It doesn't seem to kind of you know hide your what you're playing underneath just a bunch of effects. yeah. It doesn't just completely soak it. Plus, luckily you have the mix and and level under and. And underneath it as the uh, as the alternate control, but it's much more versatile for a little for a box of this size than you think it would. It can also actually take the USB out into your computer and use it almost as an plug right into your computer from it as the USB out on the back to use it as an effect in a in as a, a as an interface. Yeah, I believe. Well, well, oh, just as an well, take take your signal into the computer at okay. least. At least oh. that's I believe what it said it could do on the back. But uh, yeah, it's it's amazing what cool. they really have packed into here, uh, especially with the red jack on the side that can be used for expression remote.
because I know, I know you all know what this sounds like, one into the other. <laughs> I could do that. Yeah. What is that? Yes song. <laughs> I have no idea. I what don't it. know. No. I don't know what it's called or how to play it, but that's what it sounds like to me. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Yeah, it's uh, again a very cool flanger from Alexander Effects from their new Neo series, which uh, so far the, with the syntax error in this one are just feature packed, flexible as hell. Very cool stuff. Now. Next in line is our delay for the evening, the Bell Epic Deluxe. So uh, the Bell Epic from Catalan Bread has been one of their most famous designs. It's basically Benson Echo Rack, Pink Floydy as hell. Mm. Uh, this one has some expanded features such as the oscill dedicated oscillation switch there and uh, some expanded controls up top. Because you can also use the preamp stage, uh, like from the uh, Echoplex, in there to kind of tape, tape saturate your. Very nice sounding. is a very very cool sounding pedal and I like the uh, dedicated oscillation I would abuse this <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard every, not to. This would be the ending of every song. And, uh, yeah, it's it's very tempting to do that all the time or into a break where you're about to solo burst out of it. Or just just play Space Oddity all night. Pretty 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 much, yeah. <laughs> Let's uh here, how about while I play if you uh turn some of the dials and show its ranges. Great analog, epic sounding delay, mm -hmm. ep epic EPI scene, not the name of this, but it's been a very popular popular analog delay for us, uh, for the tape echo simulation, and especially with that saturation you can get in the front, the... Or is it grab the wrong one? The tiny letters, I yeah, can barely read keep, them. That's yeah, that's why it's just randomly spinning things. Stacking another gain into that. Couldn't help myself. But stacking another uh, another gain into that very famous uh, 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 Echoplex preamp stage in there can can great create some cool things. And I mean, Van Halen was known for using the the Echoplex just for the gain stage. The uh, Exotic Effects EP booster is basically just that in a box and a lot of other people have isolated that circuit so it's cool to have 
a little bit of control of that preamp stage and by itself or stacked with another drive does this be able to make it work. Does this take an expression pedal? Yes, it does. Let's see what that so we're going to plug that into there, and I'll tell you what, I'll manipulate that while you play, and it can be assigned to a couple different things. I believe it might be blend on here. I didn't open it up to change that. Here it is as a blend to be able to bring in your to bring in your delay. And when you're done and going back to rhythm, blend it out. that is showing off the many uses of a good expression pedal and I gotta actually point out that we have a three devices the Bell Epic the F13 and the Rainbow Machine that all three have expression pedal inputs and another cool uh, device from uh, Mission Engineering that I didn't bring today but could be useful here is their Expressionator which is kind of like a, uh, a, a a little box it's tiny it's about the size of a almost the size of a credit card <laughs> that takes in one expression pedal and sends it out to three different pedals. That's and you right. can choose between uh, which one which you want to control. And you can also choose the taper and uh, uh, the curve of the, of the sweep on the EP1s mm -hmm. or whatever Mission Engineering expression pedal. That's a really cool, clever device to have around. Yeah. And if you're like me who... Because you definitely don't, stuff, don't want three useful. of these on your board just to... Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's uh, going to take up a whole lot of space. Yeah. And uh, for a lot of people, actually, with wahs, volumes, or expression pedals, will keep it off their pedal board. Mm -hmm. uh, I've always tried to find a way to fit it in, just yeah. for convenience's yeah, sake. Yeah, yeah. Like, it being on an angle doesn't bother me. It does bother some people. But it's the Expressionator for Mission Engineering is just one of the coolest devices out there if you're a big pedal guy. And always very, very useful. Uh, this last one does not need the Expressionator, but it's still something very cool anyway. Robert Keeley has been making really awesome effects for a long time now. Makes all kinds of cool stuff, and it seems that every time I blink my eyes, he has something new on his website. Mm -hmm. This one's been around for a little bit, but it's a, a very cool pedal, the Vibo Verb. It's a reverb that adds in effects, in this case, a harmonic tremolo, vibrato, or phaser. So let's turn it on and give it a shot there. clean first actually so the one over on top I can't read that what's uh... harmonic is like the harmonic tremolo that's say on a 63 mm -hmm. Fender brown face or a, a, a bunch of people have made it into pedals like uh, walrus audio or Quaker devices but it takes uh, splits your signal in 180 degrees highs and lows and modulates them both but through. Let's see if we can increase that a little bit, the depth, decay, and blend. Just max it out and make it heard. There it is. So very like swerve driver and shoegazy. It's very cool for that stuff. That requires a fuzz. A little bit of gain. Nice. 
That's awesome. So your your melodies are cutting through with the effect kind of co- almost going on on the below it as a as a background, and then when you yeah. but when you just stop playing, it all blended together as it, as it hazes over each other, just yeah, sustained. Yeah, yeah. And I haven't really extreme with the decay going fully for a long time, but uh, yeah, go ahead and just give it a shot. sounding so for the next one for the vibrato voice I'm going to turn down the uh, percolator side and just have a little bit of gain on the there we are Yeah, it's, you That's ran out of time, me. but it's all good. Thank you very much for joining us on this episode of Sharpen the Axe on Intertalk Radio, powered by Pitbull Audio, where you can check all this out. I'm Eric Lucero. I'm Paul Dewey. That's good. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. You know what's all around you every waking moment of your life? Marketing. You're choking on it. I'm Scott Robertson, and when it comes to strategic PR, branding, and marketing, I've seen it all. And actually, I'm still seeing it because bad marketing never sleeps. Join me each week on May the Best Brand Win right here on Intertalk Radio and learn how to make the marketing for your brand unforgettable. Hi, this is Tim Dolbear from Eclectica Studios. I'm a full-time mixing and recording engineer. I work with Grammy winners, labels, and indie artists using state-of-the-art digital mixing and restoration tools and the very best in analog gear.